In this section, I will guide you that how to design a logo by using the golden ratio. Before that, let me tell you that what is golden ratio. The golden ratio, also known as golden number, golden proportion or divine number. It's the ratio between two numbers approximately equals to 1.618. It is an irrational number symbolized by the Greek letter phi. Golden ratios can also be found in natural elements like in shells, plants, flowers and even insects. It is believed to be the oldest and strongest connection between mathematics and creative arts. For logo design, the implementation of golden ratio isn't obligatory, but its utilization can significantly enhance balance, harmony and overall visual appeal of the logo. Now, let's continue with the brand details of our first case study. First of all, we have the brand name, which is Snowsoft. Then there are key services and client says that we are specialized outdoor adventure company that offers guided tours and hiking experience in snowy mountain regions. The next important question is, what was the idea behind the name? And the client says that snowy mountains have a soft and fluffy appearance, giving off a welcoming vibe. That's why we picked the name Snow Soft. It reflects our friendly nature and our passion for guiding adventures. Do you have any color preferences? And the client says that light and pale blue shades. And then the most important question is that what are your personal preferences? And client says that my personal preference is to avoid the use of any hiking gear or tourist backpacks in the design. I'm more inclined towards using a minimal and snowy mountain to portray our brand identity. I'm looking to utilize a rounded design to evoke a friendly and approachable aesthetic. I have also attached the file of this questionnaire. You can check the other details of the brand. And the important points that I extracted from this brief. First of all, the client says that he is interested in light and pale blue shades. Then the second point is that the client's personal preference is to use a minimal and snowy mountain that utilizes rounded edges. So by keeping the second point in mind, let's sketch a minimal and snowy mountain. I simply took a picture from my mobile and now we will utilize this sketch to design our logo with the help of golden ratio. So let's switch to Adobe Illustrator. First of all, in Adobe Illustrator, go to File and select New. Then select the units to pixels, select the width of your page to 1920 and height to 1080 pixels. Then select OK. If your Illustrator preview isn't appearing like this, then simply go to this workspace menu and select essentials classic and now we will place our sketch on this artboard so go to file and select place select the destination where you have saved your image simply select it then select place then simply drag the cursor from this intersection point to this one now we will design our logo by using this sketch reduce the value of opacity to 15 percent then go to windows and select layers Click on this drop down menu and here we have this image layer. Simply click on this area to lock it. For now, we will simply hide this sketch by clicking on this icon. To continue with the design process, first of all, we will draw a geometry that follows the golden ratio. So select the rectangle tool and to draw a perfect square, simply hold down the shift key and drag the cursor like this. Now it doesn't need the fill color, so we will cancel it by clicking on this cross icon and assign it a stroke color like this red color. Then select the selection tool and to make a copy of this square, simply hold down the alternate key and drag it like this. And to make a third copy, again hold down the alternate key and drag it like this. Then to increase the dimensions of this square, simply hold down the shift key and drag it up to this position. Now again make a copy of this square by holding down the alternate key. Then increase the dimensions by holding down the shift key up to this position. Now make another copy by holding down the alternate key and again increase the dimensions by holding down the shift key. Now again make a copy by holding down the alternate key and also increase the dimensions up to this position. 
Now we will draw circles within these squares. So select the ellipse tool and draw a circle from this anchor point to this one. Again for this one, for this one, this one and lastly for this one. Select the selection tool and now we does not need these scales. So select them and press delete. Also for this one, this one and this one. Then select all of these circles, go to window and select align. Then select horizontal align center and also vertical align center. To have a better visual, we will simply apply different colors to these circles. Select this outer circle, go to this color menu and select this blue color. Then select this one and simply apply this red color. And for the third one, we will simply apply this green color. And for the fourth one, we will apply this black color. And lastly, we will apply this orange color. And now to reveal our sketch layer, again go to window and select layers. And here we have our image layer. Simply click on this icon. And here we have our sketch layer. And now we will adjust the ratio of these circles as per the sketch. And for this we will select all of these circles and adjust the dimensions as per the bigger one. Simply drag them at this position and simply reduce the dimensions by holding down the shift key. And I think that this is much better. Now again select all of these circles, hold down the alternate key and simply make a copy like this. Then select these inner circles and press delete. Now select the pen tool and draw a line from this position to this one. And to complete the shape simply press enter. Select the selection tool and hold down the shift and alternate key to increase the dimensions of this line. Then press Z and drag the cursor to zoom in this area. Then simply adjust the shapes as per the sketch. For this reference line we will simply apply this black color. Then reduce the value of opacity to 30%. And then drag it like this. Now reset the page view by pressing Ctrl plus 0. Then make a copy of this line by holding down the alternate key. Then go to this reflect tool. Select vertical axis, then select OK. Then drag this line by holding down the shift key like this. Press Z and zoom in this area. And now we have to make sure that both line and this circle are intersecting with each other. So select the selection tool and simply drag the line to overlap it with the circle. Now select this green circle, hold down the alternate key and drag it like this. Again press Z and zoom in this area. Then intersect this green circle with this black line. And to have a better visual, we will simply press Ctrl plus Y. With this view, we can check that whether both of these parts intersecting with each other or not. Again press Z and zoom in this area. And you can see that there is a little bit gap. So select the selection tool, select this circle and simply drag the circle to intersect it with the line. Now to reset the view, again press Ctrl plus Y. Again press Z and zoom in this area. And now select this line, hold down the alternate key and drag it up to this position. And again to recheck the overlapping area, simply press Ctrl plus Y. Then press Z and zoom in this area. Simply select the selection tool and drag this line to reduce the overlapping area. Again you can reset it by pressing Ctrl plus Y. And to zoom out this shape we can simply press Ctrl and minus keys. And then you can reset the view by pressing Ctrl plus Y. Then select these shapes and to make a copy simply hold down the alternate key and drag them at this position. Now simply select this green circle, hold down the alternate key and drag it at this position. Then select this red circle, hold down the alternate key and drag it at this position. Then select this black circle, again hold down the alternate key and drag it like this. Now simply press Z and zoom in this area. 
and now we will simply adjust these circles first of all we have to make sure that this green circle is intersecting with this line and also red one and now we have to make sure that this black circle intersect with both of these circles green one and also red one and to recheck the intersection simply press ctrl plus y simply press z and check this one and there is a little bit gap so select the selection tool select this circle and drag it like this and to zoom out you can simply press ctrl and minus keys and to check this intersection again press z and zoom in this area simply select this circle and reduce these overlapping areas and to reset the view you can simply press ctrl plus y now again select this green circle and to make a copy hold down the alternate key and drag it at this position then select this black one and again make a copy like this press z and zoom in this area select the selection tool then select this green circle and intersect it with this line also for this black one like this then to make a copy of this line hold down the alternate key and drag it at this position then select these three shapes and adjust the positions like this then press ctrl plus y to check the intersections to check this intersection simply press z and zoom in this area and both of these shapes are intersecting with each other and to zoom out you can simply press ctrl and minus keys simply press z and zoom in this area there is a bit of a doubt so we will simply select this line and drag it like this and now you can reset the view by pressing ctrl plus y now again select this green circle hold down the alternate key and drag it at this position again make a copy of this circle like this then press z and zoom in this area select the selection tool select this circle and intersect it with this line then select this line and to make a copy of this one simply hold down the alternate key and drag it at this position then simply move this circle in a way that it intersects with this line then select these three shapes and simply drag them like this now select this line hold down the alternate key and make a copy like this and now to recheck the view simply press ctrl plus y to check this one simply press z and zoom in then select the selection tool select this line select this line and drag it to make the intersection now again press z and zoom in this area line and this circle are intersecting with each other now reset the page view by pressing ctrl plus zero and to reset this wireframe view press ctrl plus y now select these three shapes and to make a copy simply hold down the alternate key and drag them like this then select the reflect tool select the vertical axis then select ok then select the selection tool and drag them by holding down the shift key up to this line this line can make a bit of a confusion so we will simply reduce the dimensions of this line by holding down the shift key now select this line hold down the alternate key and drag it up to this position then select this black circle and make a copy by holding down the alternate key like this again hold down the alternate key and drag it at this position then select this red circle hold down the alternate key and drag it at this position now again select this black circle and make a copy of this one then simply press z and zoom in this area to check the intersection of shapes select the selection tool select this black circle and intersect it with this line and now this red circle and drag it like this also for this one 
and finally for this circle and to have a better visual of intersection simply press ctrl plus y now there is a little bit gap between these shapes simply press z and zoom in this area then select the selection tool select this circle and drag it like this then you can zoom out the shape by pressing ctrl and minus keys and now to reset the view simply press ctrl plus y again press z zoom in this area then select the selection tool select this line hold down the alternate key to make a copy like this then press ctrl plus y and i think that this is better again reset the view by pressing ctrl plus y then select this green circle hold down the alternate key and drag it at this position then press z and zoom in this area select the selection tool and drag it in a way that it intersect with both of these lines press ctrl plus y to recheck the view now press z and zoom in this area and i think that both of these shapes are intersecting with each other now to reset the view simply press ctrl plus y now we are done with the basic reference geometry that follows the golden ratio now simply select these circles and press delete then select all of these shapes select the shape builder tool and simply drag the cursor like this then select the selection tool select only this shape and apply it a solid color like this red color now we can see a bit of distortions within the shape press z and zoom in this area and you can see the missing portions at this position and this one so to again select all of these shapes simply press ctrl plus a select the shape builder tool drag the cursor like this also at this position and for this one press z and zoom in this area again select the shape builder tool and drag it like this now reset the page view by pressing ctrl plus zero select the selection tool select only this shape go to edit and select cut then select all of these shapes and simply press delete again go to edit and select paste in front now this is the final logo designed with the help of golden ratio now it doesn't need the reference sketch so simply go to window select layers and here we have the image layer simply click on this icon to hide it now select this one and now it doesn't need the stroke color so we will simply cancel it like this and increase the value of opacity to 100 percent now we will apply it a pale blue color as per the client's suggestion simply click on this color menu and write the color code to 5f b c b3 then select ok then reduce the dimensions by holding down the shift key then select the text tool and to write the brand name simply left click snow soft select these letters and change the font to quicksand simply select quicksand bold select both of these shapes go to window select align then select horizontal align center and now we will check the feasibility of our design in dark background and our logo is working fine in both light and dark backgrounds and with this we are done with our logo design by using the golden ratio hope you learned something from this video thank you very much for your time and have a nice day.